Number 1. Tondoon Botanic Gardens. One of the best things about heading into subtropical Queensland is to marvel at the plant life that flourishes at this latitude. The Botanic Gardens in Gladstone's Glen Eden suburb is often ranked among the best in the country and is set across a whopping 170 hectare site with forested areas, lots of water and beautifully designed botanical displays. Number 2. East Shores Precinct. This newly landscaped space opposite the marina is somewhere to relax and have fun outside in Gladstone. Set along Flinders Parade, the East Shores Precinct has a waterfront boardwalk with lots of greenery, shade, places to sit and a lookout where you can spot dolphins and see the yachts passing by. Number 3. Spinnaker Park. This acclaimed waterfront park opened in 2001 on the finger of land that curls round to protect the entrance to Gladstone's marina. You can gaze out to the islands just offshore, watch the port's cargo ships loading up, see the tugboats coming and going, indulge in something tasty at the cafe and explore native wetlands and ponds. Number 4. Gladstone Regional Art Gallery and Museum. The dignified neoclassical building housing Gladstone's Regional Art Gallery and Museum was constructed in the mid-1930s and served as the town hall until the 1960s. After a time as a performance venue, the building was converted into a museum in 1985. Here you can dive into Gladstone's past. Number 5. Gladstone Maritime Museum. No surprise that the ocean and seafaring have been crucial to Gladstone's story and there's much to uncover at this maritime museum on the wharf next to the ferry terminal. Inside you can pour over maps, navigational instruments, figureheads, a variety of small wooden vessels and model ships, with some pieces going back to before Captain Cook's voyage along Australia's east coast. Number 6. Mount Larcombe. Looking west of Gladstone, the dominating feature on the horizon is the 632-meter Mount Larcombe which was first noted by cartographer and navigator Matthew Flinders during his circumnavigation of Australia in 1802-2003. He named this volcanic mountain after a Navy captain under whom he had served, but Mount Larcombe is often called the Lion Mountain. Number 7. Heron Island. Gladstone is the nearest major settlement to the Coral Cay of Heron Island, hailed as one of the great ecotourism destinations in the southern Great Barrier Reef. There's a resort and eco-station for the University of Queensland on the island, where you can come to terms with the reef's natural bounty, in particular the vast numbers of green and loggerhead turtles that nest and hatch on the island. Number 8. Boy Island in Tanum Sands. Head south from Gladstone and in a few minutes you'll arrive at the small oceanfront communities of Boy Island and Tanum Sands, which sit side by side, linked by a bridge. In these quiet, Mostly residential communities you can go swimming year-round at sublime beaches like the patrolled Tanum Sands Beach. Number 9. Agnes Water and 1770. On the 300 kilometers of glorious coastline between Gladstone and Bundaberg rests the small seaside towns of Agnes Water and 1770. If you're in Gladstone there are plenty of reasons to make the trip. You can hike in unblemished coastal forest, surf and bathe at deserted beaches and have all kinds of wildlife encounters, on land and at the Great Barrier Reef. Number 10. Lake Awunga. Most of the water supply for the Gladstone region comes from this reservoir on the Boyne River, about half an hour out of town. This includes more than 220 different bird species, as well as mammals like kangaroos, wallabies, platypuses, bandicoots and brush-tail possums, while around 200,000 fish are released into the reservoir each year. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.